What's happening my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog. I'll be sharing every meal I eat for the day, footage from my training, my overall active lifestyle. Gonna be having a conversation about optimizing your health after 40. Um, it's been an insightful week. Um, really learning a lot about myself, about my body, um, and ways to improve my health. So really looking forward to sharing that with you. Thank you for sharing this experience with me. Let's get to the video. It's just after 5 a.m. Chiefy Dog here has had his breakfast, his little morning pee, and I am enjoying my morning cup of coffee with just a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. It's 6 a.m. onto my breakfast shake, one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, tablespoon of black maca powder, a scoop of protein powder, an ass load of spinach, and a banana along with this have 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3, three omega-3 fish oil capsules with a combined EPA DHA of 2.7 grams in total, uh, 300 milligrams of magnesium, and I just started taking vitamin B12. Uh, I'm gonna get to that shortly. Um, that just changed in the past few days, so I'll let you know why. It's just after 6.30, Chiefy Dog and I are ready to get out for our morning walk. He's doing his little stretch, his little downward dog, little pre-walk warm-up there. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually a mild morning out there. We're gonna be in the 60s today, which is um, just uncalled for for the month of November, dropping back down into the 40s tomorrow. So, going to take advantage of this uh, this gorgeous weather today. I'm bundle up because it's it's still a little chilly at this time of day right now. Uh, but we should be able to catch a gorgeous sunrise, hopefully uh, towards the end of our walk here. It was an absolutely gorgeous morning walk with Chief. Uh, after that, I drove Noel to school. And right now I'm getting ready to go train a new client. Been training him for the past two weeks. 53 years young, I cannot wait to share his transformation with you. We're gonna to get to that in the coming months. He's got an incredible setup at his facility, the business he owns. Uh, I'm gonna be training there afterwards, gonna be getting in an incredible arm workout, maybe a bit of shoulder since I didn't hit them yesterday. I had a crazy busy day yesterday. Um, and I just, I couldn't be more stoked. He's just an incredible client. We're connecting incredibly well. Um, just some exciting things coming your way. Can't wait to get this workout footage to you and an exciting day remaining after that. Nowadays, nothing really excites me. Only one of me and nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's icy. I got white for y'all, I'm blinking she icy. Freeze, freeze, photo, photo, please, please. no photos. No, no, Jeez. please, no, 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 please, no photos. Hit the door and the dome and just whole team here, money some. Still young, but I move like a Veteran. new deal to my lawyer. To. It if you're down in my management, I'm just warming up a way to lie. Old producer saw the numbers one. Settlements. Different colors in my baggy light. Chalk it up, talk of the town where you're talking up. Wanna get you a ring and you tough enough. Wanna get you new things with your pockets dull. Run it up. I used to be quiet and out of luck. Now I move up and move humble cuz they hate and the jealousy. My mama telling me, count up your blessings and run it up. Nowadays, nothing really is ice like cream. Only one of me and no. Nobody's like me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Rice. I got wifey, y'all, I'm blinging she Freeze, photo, photo, please, please. No, photos. No, no. Jeez. Jeez. no, 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 please, no photos No, 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 please, no photos I keep giving game away, I put game on layaway I got paid to play today, I get paid to stay away I get paid on rainy days, I might make it rain today I got paid off pain today, thought it'd take the pain away in my own lane, finger roll I would never sell my only soul Heard your whole team was for sale Heard it's on the market for the low Who the realest, we might never know All this acting, you gon' play a role Give you the world when they sign you up Try you out and then they line you up Ooh. Now you're looking hungry, ribs are touching, need some food Now you're all on live, acting surprised, but you was fool. Boy, get out the way, it's been a day, now you're old news Now you got the pen and pad, you're trying to take my moves Nowadays, nothing really excites me Only one of me and nobody's like me Phone ringing and I tell him it's Pricey. I got wifey, y'all, I'm blinging, she Icy. Freeze, Freeze. Photo. photo, please, please. no photos No, no, Jeez. Jeez. no, no. no. please, no photos Nowadays, nothing really excites me Icy. Only one of me and nobody's like me me. Phone ringing and I tell him it's Rice. I got wifey, y'all, I'm blinging, she Icy. Freeze, Freeze. Photo. Photo. Please. Please. No photo, please, no photos No, no, Jeez. Jeez. no, 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 please, no photos Man, was that ever a freaking 
awesome workout. Got an incredible arm pump on there. Just really kind of soaking up the atmosphere even though I was the only one working out. Usually I love training in the gym because I like to, to feed off of the energy of my fellow bros around me giving their absolute best effort. But I just kind of enjoyed the silence in there by myself while listening to my own tunes there uh, and just playing around with the equipment. What a great setup he's got there. I can't wait to show you guys more, get more footage in there uh, and introduce you to my client in an upcoming video. Just uh, you're going to see this. It's going to evolve. There's going to be a lot of great things coming uh, coming our way here on this channel. So really looking forward to, to sharing that with you. Uh, after my workout, dropped the well, picked the well up off at school dropped her off at home and right now i'm about to meet up with my buddy joe here we're gonna go for a quick little walk i have been fasting since that morning shake i'm getting blood work done at 2 40 it is now just after 12 30 so i'm not feeling super hungry or anything right now i mean i'm going to be ready to eat after getting this blood work done um but uh, not feeling too bad right now but this walk will distract me for a bit and, uh, and we'll go from there and uh, again talk about why I'm getting this blood work done and why I'm taking some other different little supplements and all the other things going on. Just got my blood work done, yay me. Didn't pass out, pretty darn happy. It's all in my head, it's crazy how I can get myself so worked up ahead of time and this time was the first time I can ever recall where I didn't, uh, it wasn't getting in my head beforehand. Again, letting them know, lie me down, get it all done with and it, it was quick, effortless, painless right across the street. So I went to Life Labs, which is right across the street over there. Uh, right across the street from Life Labs is A&W. Perfect timing. Haven't eaten. Well, I had the, the shake, my Kiefer shake at 6 a.m. It's now uh, 3 o'clock. And uh, I figured A&W will hit the spot. I got the Uncle Burger. This is my favorite burger um, from A&W with uh, bacon and cheese on there. Also got the uh, the sweet potato fries and the Southwest sauce. I'll bring that up on the screen rather than I'm gonna be eating this in a second. I'm gonna dive into this right now. Burger and fries were absolutely freaking phenomenal. Really hit the spot. Washing it down with an A&W root beer right now. And then go to the drive-thru next door and order an oat fudge bar and a caramel brulee from Starbucks. <laughs> I've got an excited little chiefy talk out here. I have been gone all day long. It's just about six o'clock. Um, got home, got home shortly after five and then ended up helping my neighbor had to move a trailer um, and I had to help him move a different trailer with his jet ski on it. And uh, now I've just answered a couple of emails here. I uh, just got myself settled in. It's just about six o'clock. Uh, so poor Chiefy Dog. I definitely need to get him out for a walk right now. I have washed my hands like 10, 15 times and I still cannot get the smell of the A&W burger off my hands. I think that's across the board. What is it? with fast food burgers and not being able to get the smell off the tips of your fingers for like hours, like just having to scrub your hands like crazy. Does anyone have a secret? Am I the only one? Am I the only one that grabs a burger and the, the burger smell just does not want to leave my fingertips? Let me know in a comment down below. When I get back from the walk, I'll fill you in on why I got the blood work today and some exciting stuff coming up to optimize my health. And we're back from our walk and I've got a happy little chiefy doggy here. Hey big boy. Ah yeah, gorgeous evening out there. Nice calm evening, crescent moon in the sky. It was just the two of us out there. We didn't cross paths with anybody else. So it was just, a, it was very great to be grounded in the moment. Really enjoyed ourselves out there. Right now I wanna to get to the topic of optimizing our health, optimizing my health more specifically right now. Uh, so you saw this morning I was I added vitamin B12 to my supplement list. I'm gonna take it one a day um, for a week, every day of the week for a little bit and then I'll I'll break it down to maybe um, one every, every few days, every other day type thing in the future. Um, I did go see a naturopath on Wednesday. So I'm going to talk more about that probably later next week. I'm going to see her again on uh, on Tuesday and get some, she does 
Chinese acupuncture. Um, I just did a consultation with her. I had brought all my blood work with me. Um, it was like an hour and a half consultation. It was freaking awesome. Incredibly insightful, uh, informative, uh, just, it was just awesome. It's, it's just great to have someone asking a whole bunch of questions, really digging into your overall lifestyle, finding ways that they can help you optimize your health and live your your best life. And um, so, looking at all my blood work, because I've been I go to my doctor regularly, um, got my blood work done, and um, all my levels, like everything, is normal. Testosterone's level, B12 is normal, thyroid's normal. My cholesterol is fantastic. I've never had an issue with that. Um, just every, everything is is in the normal range. So my doctor's like, oh, you're good to go. I'll see you next year for your physical. <laughs> um, whereas she took a look at my blood work, and she's like, yeah, your your B12 is normal. I think it's 197. But she said like, I would like to be optimal. I prefer to see. I think it was around the 400 mark uh, that that she preferred to see me at. So she liked me to to bump that up. She said yeah, you shouldn't see anything drastic, any big drastic changes from that difference. But just to kind of live my life optimally, um, it's it's worth a little try and to, to get that elevated a bit. Uh, and then the other thing she noticed. So she said like testosterone's great. She has no concerns about my testosterone, uh, both the, the the total testosterone as well as the um, the free testosterone, he's such a cute dog. I am so, so lucky and blessed to have the chiefy dog here. Um, so yeah, she wasn't concerned about anything like that, but the one thing that jumped out at her was my my thyroid. And again, in the normal range, uh, back in two seven, 2017, it was, I think, 2.47. And this past year, uh, June 2020 it was 3.48 I believe it is and she was just thinking like yeah I mean it's in again it's in the normal range but for someone with my lifestyle my um, body my health everything that's got I, I've got going on she'd expect to see that closer to one uh, so I found that very interesting very Fascinating. So um, she wanted me to get some more blood work done just for the thyroid, just to a more thorough thyroid uh, blood test there rather than what was done on the whole test that I got uh, for the physical there that just showed the TSH and and a few other things. She just wanted to see, really, really look into the overall thyroid function and just make sure that everything was, was going good there. And if it's going good, then we're no worries at all um but um she did i i was taking ashwagandha for a while and uh i think i took ashwagandha for maybe two to three months i think it was about three months uh, i read an article that was kind of um made me think about maybe i shouldn't take ashwagandha so i stopped for about a month and she said no you get back on ashwagandha and um and a lot of it just for to help me sleep because um, I have been I think I mentioned earlier I wake up at 2 in the morning 4 in the morning uh, at 2 in the morning I fall right back to sleep at 4 in the morning when I wake up I'm like like I'm gonna be getting up in an hour anyways I feel pretty good like I feel awake should I just get up and sometimes it takes me a little sometimes I just kind of lie in bed till 5 o'clock and I just get up out of bed um, and then she gave me a supplement with ashw ashwagandha on it to help you sleep at night reduce cortisol and um, for the past few nights, I have been sleeping like a baby. I still wake up two o'clock, four o'clock, but fall right back to sleep. So four o'clock when I wake up, I look at the clock and even though I know same process, I know I'm gonna be getting up at five o'clock anyways. I don't have my alarm set. I just kind of naturally wake up at five o'clock, uh, typically in bed around nine. So I'm getting that eight hours of sleep most nights uh, anyways um, when I'm up at five. But uh, you know, when I woke up at four the past couple of nights, I look at clock and I just pass right back out. So until five o'clock, then I get up and I, I'm definitely, I'm wide awake at that point and ready to start the day. Um, so that was interesting. So um, gonna see what this blood work. So she's gonna get my blood work when I see her next Tuesday. We'll go over that. We'll get the acupuncture done. It's Chinese acupuncture, just kind of balancing things out and balance out my chi. Get, I forget how they um, describe all that stuff. But just, again, I just wanna, 
live my life to the fullest. Make sure everything is balanced, everything is functioning at its best. Um, it's kind of, I guess you could say, kind of minutia. But at the same time, I mean, I'm doing all of the right things. I've laid the foundation, got everything in place. Um, now it is time for, I can play around with a little bit of the fine tuning. And this is for, just for its optimal health, optimal well-being. Uh, I mean, I'm 45 years old. I've got so much of my life ahead of me, so many things I want to do, experience, and I want to live my, continue living my life to the fullest. So uh, I'm excited for the acupuncture. Um, interested to see what happens with the, the blood work, if it's anything big, if it thinks anything should be taken further there. But um, yeah, I just find it interesting. It's really great. Kind of shows some of the flaws with the our medical system here that doesn't look as in depth, like doesn't take the time to get to know their patients in this kind of depth and exploring things that, yeah, all right, just because you're in the normal range doesn't mean you can't improve even more and looking at ways to improve that. So that's why I was really glad I went to this naturopath and uh, really enjoyed my experience so far. So looking forward to sharing more feedback with you. I think next Friday I'll share my, uh, this upcoming Friday, I'll share my experience on Tuesday and kind of talk a little bit more about that. We'll see. <laughs> I've got a, Tuckered out Chiefy Dog with his head under the table here. I just finished watching the new Kevin Hart stand up on Netflix there. Freaking hilarious. I just, I love him. I love his stand up. I love him in movies, him and The Rock together. I just think are the perfect pairing. I love the two of them on social media. Just, just my kind of humor, my kind of guys, um, just just way too freaking funny. So, uh, not too late right now. I haven't eaten anything since the, since the burger, fries, pop, um, caramel brulee, and oh, fudge bar. I'm I'm feeling quite satisfied by now. Um, still at this point, uh, I haven't needed any food. That was that was plenty of calories uh, for the day. I think just the Starbucks alone is like a thousand calories there. And then everything at the, with the A and W uh, was at least a thousand calories, uh, if not more than that, along with my breakfast shake. So definitely enough, um, but more than anything, just feeling satisfied. Like I thought I'd have something else light tonight to eat, but um, just uh, just satisfied, just feeling just good enough. So calling it a day, um, going to pop in my meditation audio. I'm not going to read right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm tired. I'm spent. Um, so meditation time, get some sleep and that will be a wrap. I hope you enjoy this behind the scenes footage. I hope you enjoy the little insights into my, the blood work, everything that I got going on. I hope you enjoyed the workout footage and just thank you so much for sharing this day with me. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support, your encouragement, your positive vibes and I uh, just can't you can't thank you enough for sharing this experience and this journey with me. Hope you have yourself an amazing day. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do me a favor and share it with them. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Catch you in the next video.